Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you where to see the list of built-in reports available in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. So, of course, in Business Central, we know that there are enormous um, reports which are available by default, like which is created by Microsoft itself as a base uh, application or by the base report. So we definitely make we can definitely make use of those reports for our uh, uh, deployments or for our consultation. So everything is fine, okay. Everything is available, okay. So here in this, I am going to explain you how to see the complete list of built-in reports in Business Central. So let us go. This will definitely help you. So here you can find all the RDLC reports. Okay. So this is already uh, you can uh, it is or it is released on October 2020 in the Wave 2 version. So let, I will just show you how to go and view that. Here you have a search. This is what your Business Central uh, page. Okay. So you can see there is a search option on the right side. Okay. So you can find it here. Okay, you can simply click here on this so it will pop up uh, like something like tell me what you wanted to do. So you have to type report layout selection. So once you type report layout selection, you can see these options that is report layout selection administration. Okay, so you can simply click this report layout selection. You'll also look at this report layouts. Okay, so once if you click here report layout selection you can see the full report list which is of our dlc okay so you can see chart of account gl register budget vat register everything is available here along with the report id Okay, what is the report id and everything this will be uh, i think more than 500 530 or 540 i haven't uh, counted so you can just go and see what is the complete report is all about okay here is what you can just go and search for like uh, uh, all these content like general ledger chart of accounts general ledger gl register detailed trial balance everything is available here so you can make use of it okay so if you select on any rdlc you can see all the options on the top okay you can see select layout restore default selection run report if you want to see how the report looks like you can simply run the report and see uh, uh, what you are expecting basically out of it okay i'm just selecting some number over here so that we will get a, a, a quicker response so i'm just selecting only thousand and if you just click preview it will show you the preview of how the report really looks like let us wait for it because it is generating the report okay because this is what the trial balance report how this report really looks like okay so here you can see how it will look and you can simply select on any any report so on the top you can find all the options here okay what is the custom layouts so if you wanted to see the custom layout i have already discussed about the custom layout for documents okay so you can find that uh, in, an, in, a, in, a pre, in my previous video you can go and check that okay and you can see there is an actions so if you want to update all layouts test the layout updates other if you wanted to do anything else you can just try that okay so here you have all the options if you wanted to edit the list you can just edit it okay so if you want to know how to create your own company here and how to uh, import all the existing base tables and everything to your um, company everything you can leave your message I'll, i'm very happy to help you on that so this is an um, very important um, video for everyone who is uh, who wanted to design your uh, rdlc report in a better manner you can just have a look on it and uh, understand how the real how the templates are there and how to make use of it thank you take care bye bye